Hi guys, James here from Fit to Last. Hope you are well. So I want to talk quickly about your resting heart rate, why I'd like you to start recording it and what it means. Now, the resting heart rate is a reflection of your recovery. Now, as you're starting to train three times a week, for some of you, this is familiar. Some of you, this is, this is a new concept. So we want to monitor how your body is recovering to this change in exercise or the frequency of exercise. And how we do that is by, by measuring your resting heart rate. Now, the way that you do that is when you wake up, before you swing your legs over the end of the bed, what I want you to do is put two fingers right there. That's the carotid pulse. You'll know it by, by feeling a, um, a pulse as you put your fingers there. And then count the number of beats for 10 seconds multiply that number by six and then put that number under sleep in the uh, online training app that, that should be now on your phone. Uh, again, by doing this, what we're doing is monitoring your resting heart rate it's at, the mo at the most rest you'll ever be. We're gonna monitor that for a two week period as you start the program and then periodically throughout the program. The first two weeks will give you your baseline, which is, which is how, you're, um, you, how you currently are now. And then as you're training, we're going to see how, if that goes up and down. If your uh, resting heart rate goes up by 8 to 10 beats, that means you aren't recovering as well. We'll have to look at how you're sleeping and that kind of thing and try and help you out so your recovery improves. If it stays along the baseline throughout your program, you're, that means you're resting well, you're getting the right nutrition and everything else, and you're recovering as you should be. So that's the reason why we're going to be um, measuring your resting heart rate. I'll be sending you reminders to keep track of this. And if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Cheers.